So now they want to expand the Dakota Access Pipeline because it hasn't already leaked enough times, five times that we know of. Might, already, might have already leaked under the Missouri River with no way to know because they sure as hell wouldn't report it. Energy Transfer Partners plans Permian Express 3 Dakota Access Oil Pipeline expansion. Energy Transfer Partners on Thursday said it expects to expand its Permian Express oil pipeline system by up to 100,000 barrels per day and may boost capacity on its Dakota Access crude pipeline. During the second quarter, ETP completed an open season for about 50,000 additional barrels per day on Permian Express 3, which represents the final phase of the 140,000 barrel per day project. The final, final 50,000 uh, barrels per day is expected to be online later this year, an executive said on an earnings call for this quarter. Flows on the Dakota Access Pipeline that runs from North Dakota to Illinois have averaged just over 500,000 barrel per day recently, and the company said it could expand by another 100,000 barrels per day. Energy Transfer Partner said it is also making progress on the new 30-inch crude oil pipeline joint venture joint venture project from the Permian basis to the Gulf Coast that would add at least 1 million barrel per day of capacity. The line is likely to come on, that line is likely to come online by 2020, Energy Transfer Partners said in May. I mean, it, it's, it's unbelievable. I wish I could say something different, but it's just more of the same. More totally totally unnecessary pipelines and now we're going to expand it further all by the way to export not use for our domestic use but to export so kelsey warren at energy transfer partners and um rick perry our energy secretary who was on the board of energy transfer partners right before he was made energy secretary and then rick i'm sure rex tillerson in his retirement and all of these fine fine fossil fuel fuckers could just keep making money at our expense. Legalized bribery, legalized fascism, and the burning of our planet. Which, by the way, if you watch my video on Friday, NAVA Democratic Party, the DNC, has decided to reverse its two-month-old ban on taking fossil fuel donations. Couldn't quite make it past two months. Their message right now, this is from Terry McAuliffe, former governor of Virginia, who's one of the most corrupt Democrats. McAuliffe, we ought to look at impeachment of Trump. We ought to look at impeachment of Trump. So you either have impeach Trump or the Russian boogeyman, which is coming from half the party. That's their message. When every single day, Trump, the Republicans, frankly, and, and most of the Democrats are giving the Democratic Party, if they could see the forest from the trees, the message is there. Cover the issues. Fight for the planet. Stop taking the fossil fuel money. Fight the Dakota Access Pipeline. Fight the Bay Isle Bridge Pipeline. Fight for Medicare for All. Fight for the working people, because I got a secret for you. They're the majority. If the Democratic Party wasn't run by the, bourge the bourgeoisie, the bourgeoisie, if the Democratic Party wasn't run by idiots who just smell money, that's all they smell, they would see, oh, wow, maybe this, maybe this pipeline thing is an issue that we should capture. Maybe we should stop making money for them because, oh, my God, maybe we could fundraise from small dollar donations for people who might want to contribute to us because we're fighting the fossil fuel companies. Why didn't I think of that? Maybe we should... I don't know. Stop taking money from these pharmaceutical industries and open up for small dollar donations. Like, I think this guy Bernie Sanders did that and was quite successful and competitive. I think, oh my God, Alexandria Ocasio just did this. The Democratic Party could win millennials, older progressives, progressives of all ages by just doing the right thing. And you know what? They get a lot of money too. And you know what? What's an even better get out the vote system? than just television ads and putting money into television ads and all of the old stuff that Hillary Clinton did, uh, inspiring people, rallying people. That generally works. The only thing that is going to help the Dakota Access Pipeline expansion, another 100,000 barrels per day, 
is going to help is Kelsey Warren, Energy Transfer Partners, investors, the banks that inve invested. It's not going to help anyone in North Dakota. It's not going to help anyone around the country. It's not going to help you or me. It's all going to, it, it's going to Poland and China and other countries because Trump wants to compete. Trump actually wants to compete with Russia and Saudi Arabia. He wants the United States to become a much bigger oil exporter. But the Democratic Party is too stupid to fight on the side of the righteous. That would actually bring in money. Well, I got news for you. What the Democratic Party doing right now, if the election were held today and it was not Bernie first Trump, let's say it's Biden first Trump, let's say it's Kamala Harris first Trump, I think, Bern I think Trump would probably win similar margins. I think, he, I think the Electoral College victory would decrease, but I think he'd win. Because they don't have a message, even though the message is there for the taking. And what they're doing, what they're doing is all identity politics. Oh, they'll be out there. For, they, they will rah-rah to the deaths, you know, for counter-protesters against the uh, right to unite. Will they rah-rah protest against the big banks? Hell no. Will they rah-rah Water protectors fighting against fossil fuel companies and pipelines? Hell no. Because I remember Donna Brazil sent out a fundraising email titled Mini Wachoni the day Barack Obama denied the final permit. There was not a fundraising email or a mention from the Democratic Party about the Dakota Access Pipeline before that day.